Hi everyone, so today we're going to go over three more drills. These drills are walking plant drills, walking weighted plant drills, and back rolls. These drills are all done inside my house, so there is no reason for you to say that you are not able to do drills. Um, they c the walking plant drills um, can all be done either without anything in your hands, with a broom in your hands, a yardstick, I don't know anything you just pick something uh, I'm using a broken pole that has two pound sandbag at the bottom of it so it feels like a real pole in my hand um, so let's start off with the walking plant drills and what I'm what I'm looking for when I'm doing this so the walking plant drills um, they are very important it allows you to learn positions without um, the speed in involved. Um, I find when you start adding speed, you kind of get lost. It's easier to learn positions slower and then start to slowly add speed to it. So walking plant drills, I look for my right hand. I'm a right-handed vaulter, so I look for my right hand to be fixed to my right hip and not to move forward and back. I tend to pump my arms forward and back um, lately I've been really working on not doing this and it's really helped my plant and takeoff position and so I focus on the right hand being fixed to my hip my right hip and then my left hand being in the middle of my chest and my elbow facing down I really don't want my left hand to drop at all um, a little bit is okay but still I'd, I'd rather it go from where it's at straight up because there's no reason for it to go down. Um, the vault plant motion is all upward so it never needs to go back down. So I'm going to show you the plant drill and then the, when it goes into slow motion I'll start breaking it down. Okay so for me as you can see, I'm a right-handed vaulter. My right hand is fixed to my hip. Uh, I choose to close my hand completely around the pole. Uh, some people don't have the flexibility to do this or it just feels weird and uncomfortable for some reason. Um, my, left, my left hand is at my chest. Uh, it would be higher, but I can't really raise the pole up any higher in the house or I'll hit the, hit the roof. So. When I come through with my my first step, which will be a right, I make sure that I bring my knee all the way to parallel to the ground. I see a lot of people walking, um, like actually walking these drills, which is, I mean, it's better than nothing, but at the same time, I think that you should be um, making all your drills as similar to the vault as possible. So even when you're walking, you should be hitting running positions and as you can see I'm up tall uh, a little bit forward of a lean but not too much you don't want to be leaning backward that's for sure and you don't want to be leaning too much forward there's a nice in-between balance so uh, make sure that you're in a nice tall upward position with a slight lean forward um, and then I'll come to my right and have my left knee up and then it's same thing and as I come down onto this this next left um, you're gonna see that my my right hand starts to go up towards my shoulder right here and this allows for me to really have a quicker next few steps because all I have to do is flip my my right hand to my temple um, up into my temple so it will allow for a faster plant motion if my hand was still at my hip that'd be a farther um, ways to go so try to get your hands up early and then when I switch I'm at my temple by the time my foot hits the ground and then I'm coming up and raising my hands up and when my left foot hits the ground my arms are extended fully I'm looking up and my right knee is driving upwards and I'm leaving the ground off my toes so let's see the same drill again um, my hand my left hand does drop a little bit um, 
it's not too bad but not perfect so that's definitely something I need to work on keeping that that left arm up um, weight walking weighted plant drills same thing it's just I have five pound ankle weights on so um, five pounds on each ankle and then the two pounds at the bottom of my pole uh, the reason I do weighted plant drills is to build the hip flexor strength and of being able to pick up my knees all the way up and uh, it really I've really found great benefit into these it just I feel a lot stronger in my run and in my takeoff so I I recommend these uh, maybe not at the start just really work on getting your technique down first with the walking um, plant drills and then once you really get those down then start adding weight I don't recommend adding weight to anything unless that you're doing it without weight perfectly and effortlessly so uh, just focus on the very first drill and perfecting it and then slowly um, making them harder and um, more more elaborate I guess but basic drills is where it's at if you can do basic drills that's good enough it all these other drills are just little bonuses so weighted plant drills same thing I just have weight same cues um, I'm not jumping up on these and I'm not trying to go fast on my last steps because um, I have ankle weights on and I don't really want to pull the ligaments in my knees uh, it just it just seems like that wouldn't be a good thing to really try to move fast with a lot of weight on your ankles so I just really focus on walking and just hitting positions and taking it nice and slow back roll um, the back roll um, usually people back roll and then push up into handstand uh, I don't do this in that, my house because I would end up hitting the ceiling fan or something. So I go to my forearms, which um, is a little bit more scary actually. Um, I, sometimes I try to stop on my forearms and try to be in like a, hand, a headstand on my forearms. But this back roll, what I'm looking for is to keep my, my legs straight and not to bent, tuck them in when I roll back a lot of people tuck their legs in when they do this drill and I find it more beneficial to keep my legs straight and to roll back like I was in the vault and that I was dropping my shoulders back and extending um, into like the boob cut position almost so let's take a look at this drill as you can see I throw up and back and when I come back you can see I bend my right leg but I come back it's not too much but it's kinda to get the motion started it's hard to really start with your leg straight it's possible um, but more difficult so I then extend through the hips I'm straight up and down and then I come through and back down and here's another one I bend the knee again not as much but still something to work on to, and then it just extend the hips up and through and then you, sometimes I can stop in this position it's hard to stop your momentum and <laughs> so don't worry about that if anything just roll back and do them just how I was so I hope this helped and if you have any questions comments or anything I would be glad to help if you want to see anything specific um, I'll be glad to do that too so please share like subscribe and have a great day and make sure you get your drills in